Mrs. Bishop is with Sterling Caviar, yeah. and we're in the Sacramento area, and um, I have tasted some of your caviar. It's absolutely excellent. Thank you. And um, you have different sizes here. Can you tell me a little bit about each size, and are there different types of quality? Yeah, so um, we have, well, obviously the most common one is a 30 gram, and um, that's um, about a little over an ounce, and the, the, the what you're holding right now is a royal. Mm -hmm. It's a sterling royal. It's the most common um, caviar we have, mm -hmm. and it's the most popular among chefs. And um, we, of course, uh, when we harvest every springtime, mm -hmm. February through uh, May, and we are the largest producer um, in North America. Um, uh, it's a farm sturgeon, and we started in 1981. We're the earliest um, caviar house, uh, caviar maker, producer mm -hmm. in the world. Yes, That's awesome. Mm -hmm. In the world. Yes. <laughs> and you have this large size here. Um, this is the what type of caviar is this? Oh, it's uh, it's same. We um, raise white sturgeon. It's a trans Montana's and. Um, this is actually not the largest site. We don't have it. It's in the mm -hmm. in a different processing facility. This is just one. It's called original tin. Uh, when caviar was made, it's uh, originally it's all stored. They are stored in those kind of tins, and these are called repack tins. And this stays. The quality stays better in those tins yeah. because it it cures in those tins. It's a perfect seal. Now what's the time frame for it to cure? Is there a time frame? Uh, uh, on average, three months. Awesome. Yeah. And then... Um, so what is the difference between the classic and the royal? What's the difference? Royal is uh, it's based on size. So we have... Um, well, on the... Our website and the brochure, we have three different imperial. grades. Imperial mm -hmm. is golden eggs. So that's the finest? That's the finest. It's the rarest because you open it, it's all golden. And it's beautiful and people perceive it more rare. It's rare. Is that the type that's used on top of sushi? Uh, no. Okay. That's a tobiko. That's a different, that's different. fish. Okay. That's um, uh, a very short, uh, how do you say, the fish can be raised and mature in a year mm -hmm. versus our fish is um, 8 or 10 years maturity before they start producing eggs. So the imperial, what is the cost of this size? That is, um, I believe, retail. Um, retail, I believe it's about $150. Yes. Yeah. $150 for this size. And yes. then this and this size. is called original tin. We actually only ship these to distributors because nobody's buy directly in this tin. That's true. They can ha buy a bigger tin actually than this, mm -hmm. but it's a vacuum seal. Mm -hmm. This is no vacuum. So we put a rubber band around it mm -hmm. and the distributors uh, take it. That's called original tin, meaning, meaning we harvest the caviar and we put the first batch in those tins. And it's it's we put a rubber band on, and because there's liquid in between, it seals form a bond of sealing, and that stays good for two years sometimes with no preservation uh, preservatives. And this, if you open the tin, you repack it here and you vacuum seal. That's where you buy in see them on the market. This will only last four to six weeks on average. Because refrigerated? It, yeah, refrigerated. But this is because it's already opened mm -hmm. to uh, air and uh, oxygen, so that it starts to tear it because it's perishable foods. Can you freeze it? We okay. never freeze our caviar. But if you I, can. We can, yes, it's still can. the same quality or not no, as good? No, it's a, I always tell people an example, uh, if you freeze a tomato, it's still edible and you can still cook it, but in terms of freshness, yes. It's become very watery afterwards. Like the tomato, you take out of the freezer, it's hard as rock, but after two hours, it's actually mushy. 
Can we buy this size online? Yes, you can buy any size online um, on the website. What is the website? It's uh, sterlingcaviar.com. Yeah. You know, I saw a piece where you were on uh, MSNBC mm -hmm. on the lifestyles of, uh, you, what was that, the lifestyles? I don't know. It was a segment I saw about about six months ago. Yes, it was uh, August. Well, actually, we have uh, two videos. We had one in April 2015, and that was, um, I believe, in the the 10 o'clock uh, CNBC, like prime time mm -hmm. for luxury cars. Mm -hmm. We had one interview, and then we had actually in April we had two CNBC, one is national, one is local, okay. Sacramento. And then we're in Business Week. We, we have, okay. I got interviews almost every week. Is uh, it publicly traded? Uh, the, our headquarter is a public company, yes. Okay. Yeah. This is for the distinguished palette um, that would be the Imperial. Now the Imperial is more than 150. Yeah, I, I just need to... About. Yeah, because our salesperson um, knows all the prices. But it's, um, I, um, which way do you suggest eating it? I, I have a way of eating it with uh, sesame crackers, but there's so many different ways to eat it chilled. What way do you recommend? Um, well, the true caviar people usually eat it just by itself, by itself. Uh -huh. but we do not uh, recommend any crackers that um, uh, that has salt. That's good information. Yes, because the caviar is salty, and if there's any other, um, how do you say, when you say uh, sesame, mm -hmm. it has sesame oil in it. Okay. So you don't taste the purity of the caviar. Well, that's good information. Yes. Uh, I'm looking at the interior. So do you put it in any recipes or... It's actually $117. Oh, um, it's $100, yeah. how much? $117 um, for that. Well, and our competitor, well not our competitor, our distributor sells more. Of course, yeah, yeah. it's like 100 and way more. So I don't want to yeah. say how much more.